Good morning, folks. Today we've got looks at solar activity, an Easter egg in the cosmology realm, another in the nova category, and an update on Earth's rotation speed as the days grow shorter. The last 24 hours on our star brought the dark coronal holes through central heliographic longitudes. Eruptive activity was confined to the limbs and the far side. Solar flaring and solar wind at Earth are relatively calm. The eruption from the opening sequence and then another off the south polar crown look gorgeous on SOHO, neither is heading this way. While the larger active regions are beginning to depart, we have several growing regions incoming, and of course, we already know at least one of the incoming active regions is trigger happy as we saw this morning. Let's go to the science. Folks, this is NGC 752, and I know, doesn't look like much more than a cluster of stars, but it's actually got an expanse four times greater than believed. That is a giant oops in astronomy. The lack of ability to see the totality of matter in space has been tricking astronomers and cosmologists, and this, oh shoot, look how big this thing really is, is the same type of plasma cosmology nugget as when it was reported that Andromeda's plasma halo is so big, it's actually touching ours here in the Milky Way. There are no islands in space, and the better we look, the more real normal matter we see. Up next, for veterans who recall our presentations, you don't know Nova, and they still don't know Nova, and especially the variety of names given to things that should just be in one big Nova category. Yes, the plethora of stars they call Nova-like does fall into that bucket as well. It's one thing to realize that we now discover new Nova events daily, but when you realize there are an equal number of other Nova-like events discovered daily as well, and with modern estimates around 200,000 such events per year in the Milky Way, we have certainly entered a new realm of Nova astronomy. For those with our books, The Next End of the World and The New Supplement, we go over how the sun and changing magnetosphere affect the core, mantle, LLSVPs, and Earth's rotation. We describe why the planet should be speeding up its rotation, the days shortening, and have even gone over the core excitation surges that are being discovered. Here, we find the latest models working with real-time rotation speed, and while many of these numbers do jump around a lot, we are zeroing in on the 2022 marks. I do doubt we'll actually have a day 3 milliseconds too fast, more than double the record, but the idea that we just had our slowest day, and among slowest days, it was the fastest of the slowest days on record, that one has been expected. Folks, the predictions from the book keep coming true, the Earth's rotation speed is not stopping its surge, and we are set to break that previous record fastest day as early as a couple weeks from now, near the end of June. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more with the Earth Disaster Playlist below the video. Our books are at otf.cells.com, including the PDF copies of the textbooks and supplement. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.